So guys, for the first step, you want to head over to search and type in virus and threat protection. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to click on scan options and then you want to change this to full scan. And I click on scan now. You want to run this in the background. Now for the second step, you want to head over to search and type in file explorer options. Click on it. And I click on view. And then you want to tick show hidden files, folders and drives. And then you want to untick hide protected operating system files. Click on yes. And I click on OK. Now for the next step, you want to head over to search and type in registry editor. Click on it. And I click on yes. Now once you're on this, you can follow everything I'll be doing up here. So first we're going to expand HQ local machine. Then you want to expand software. Then you want to expand Microsoft. Then you want to scroll down and expand Windows. You want to expand Windows. And then you want to expand current version. And then you want to scroll down. And you want to find run, the folder run. You want to right click on it and then click on delete. And then click on yes. Now for the next step, you want to head over to search and type in CMD. Then you want to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. Now once you're on this, you want to type in sfc space forward slash scan now and then click on enter. Then you want to run the scan. Now we're going to head over to search again and type in cmd again. And you want to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. Now once you're on this, we're going to type in chkdsk space forward slash f space forward slash r. And click on enter. And now once this comes up, you want to type in y for yes. Click on enter again. And now you want to wait for the sfc command to be done. And then you want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.